Black Friday is in the books. Small Business Saturday is winding down. Now we set our sights on Cyber Monday. But will all the deals help with overall sales this holiday season? Jackie Sprague is live with the answer and what you need to know before you power up your computer. Well, nearly 20 businesses here in the downtown Dayton area took part in Small Business Saturday. Now, in-store sales still trump online sales during Thanksgiving weekend. They topped $59 billion last year, according to the National Retail Federation. But Cyber Monday sales are expected to hit a record high this year. It's 182 cents. <laughs> Shop small. That's the message on this Saturday after Thanksgiving. Last year, 70 million customers spent $5.5 billion nationwide during Small Business Saturday, according to the Federal Small Business Administration. Amelia O'Dowd owns Brim on East 5th Street. She saw even bigger crowds this year. Today has been a phenomenal day. We've seen lots of new faces, lots of people getting a jump start on their shopping. With the shortest holiday season in more than a decade, industry experts report that retailers could see an estimated $1.5 billion in lost sales. There are six fewer days this year between Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's the most critical time of the year for retailers, amounting to up to 40 percent of overall sales for the year, according to the National Retail Federation. Cyber Monday could be the biggest on record. Comscore is predicting $2 billion in online sales from computers and mobile devices. It's easy. It's convenient. You're able to do that from your home office or sitting in your pajamas uh, in front of the television making those purchases. But with convenience comes vulnerability. That's why Dayton's Better Business Bureau is sending a warning about online shopping. You need to make sure that your computer has proper firewalls and also any, any antivirus protection that you can have on your computer. Make sure that it's updated. You need to read the fine print because the fine print may be very much different than the picture that you're looking at. Our first warning is always, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. And you can check to see if a business is BBB accredited by going to their website. You can find a link by going to our website, WDTN.com, and click on, click on web links. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.